sa syllabus, kaya para makita nato ang syllabus. So that we can be oriented once again kung ahana tadapit. We are now on part 8. And this is uh, nearing the, the last part or the end of GE4. The mathematics of finance which includes simple and compound interest. So for tonight, you have to be aware that we will be discussing simple interest. Can you still recall what is simple interest? Have you discussed this in your high school? Yes, sir. Very good. So, ka relate tanan ani, di ba? This is included in mathematics in the modern world. It's because we are all involved with borrowing money, or sometimes kita anaga pa borrow of money, no. and we are engaged with business. So, na mga kwarta kwarta. This is part of our financial literacy. So, gi include siya sa mathematics in the modern world. So, ka relate man tatanan o kwarta, di ba? Yes, sir. Correct. So we have here the first part of the simple interest. I would like to Saving ask someone account. to read this. Kindly read the first part of our lesson so that we will be oriented kung unsang content aning simple interest. May I request kanyang pinakagwapag picture dari Labaho. Are you here, Labaho? For your attendance? Oh, absent sila baho. Let's have Venus. Venus. Money is borrowed or loaned for many reasons. This process exists in the real world where we try thus as a citizens of this world. It is a requirement for us to have the basic knowledge about the concept of business mathematics, also known as mathematics of investment to gain a deeper understanding about earning or paying interest and how these are calcul calculated. This lesson discusses the, the concept of simple interest. Thank you so much, Mr. Venus, for reading our introduction. So it's very clear, diba, that it is a requirement for us to have the basic knowledge about the concepts of business math because we are dealing with money and Diba na mo time also? I don't know if you are familiar with katong mga scams before. Is there may na-involve na atong mga scams? Regin, sir. Na mga investment scam, diba? Kato. Kapa, uh, sir. Kapa, sir. Kana, katong mga. I don't know. Mungo saan yung inyong hanggipang sudlan. Pero, that was part of the experience kaya dapat we can learn something. So, we have to be careful with mga investment, with dealing with business. So, part of that in the mathematics in the modern world is giving you literacy on how to compute okay sometimes mura maka di ka makatuo di ba in ana jud kadako na ba naga exist ngayon ana ang mga mga scheme so in our lesson we will be computing kung pila ang tubo pila ang bayro noon if there will be mga mga money nga involved kung nag loan ka or ikaw mismo ang nagpa loan so let's have the objective for this evening the end of our lesson, you as student should be able to define and understand the meaning of the following. Simple interest, principal, time, and the rate of interest. So, na naman idea about ani no? Ani nga mga butang? Well, anyway, ato po niya revisit later. Second is, we must calculate, since we are using peso in the Philippines, the peso amount of interest using the simple interest formula. So it's better to have your calculators with you. You can use a scientific calculator, pwede po ordinary calculator in your cell phone para dili dugay. Dili madugay ang inyuhang pag-solve. May sound sa kuha, sir. Di madungog. Ito siya. Let's proceed. We will calculate the principal, the rate, the time. Again, upat ka elements, no? the principal, the rate, the time, and the simple interest, katong upat. There will be times nga na isa ka buok nga unknown. So katong tulo given, so we should know kung unsaon to siya pag solve. For example, ma unknown ang principal, given tong tulo, what will you do? Unknown ang rate, what will you do? Unknown ang time, what will be the formula? And unknown ang interest, so it would be very easy. So the guess niyo ang ato ang objective karon. So let's have the first part, the lesson proper, the definition of 
the simple interest. I will request again someone to read and I will check kung present ba dun siya. Mr. Gato, are you here? Yes, sir, na, sir. Go ahead, kindly read. Simple interest is the amount paid by a borrower to lender for the use of money at a given rate over a particular given time. It is usually associated with loan and home, which are short in nature. It is using this formula. Formula is well, I is equal to P, principal, R, rate of the interest per period of time, expressed as percent or fraction. P, time, in years, or term between the date the loan is made and it matures. The maturity so value... Uh, ay, sige, sige. Later na po ng maturity value kay para atong hinahinayon o ato ang subtone kay para dili kayo maloaded ang ato ang mga mind karon Because this is a basic formula. This is your friend right now that you have to copy in your scratch papers, in your notebook right now. Kaya maunin ang basic formula nga gamito na to for the problem solving that we will be doing tonight. I is equal to PRT. I stands for the simple interest. Ang simple interest sa Bisaya, kung nainangutang sa imuha, di ba namin tubo ang kwarta? So pila tong tubo, pila tong imong bayaran kung ikaw ang nanghiram. That's interest. I. P stands for the principal or in our term, pila ang imuhang gihiram ng kwarta. If this involves borrowing. So unsang amount ang gisugda ni mo originally mong gihiram, that is the principal. The small letter R represents the rate of interest. Kina may mga mag-interest of 1%, na po itag 2%, na itag 10%, na po itag nagko. So katong percent, that is rate. When you solve that, kailangan i-convert ni mo siya into decimal. Kay percent man ang ginahatag sa problem, when you compute Using your calculator, dapat i-transform na nimo siya into decimal. So please re recall how to convert percent into decimal. We will uh, review later, basi na nakalimut sa inyo ha, during our problem solving. And a small letter T, it represents the time. And nakabutang dali sa definition na it should be in years. Di ba ka nakaparentesis siya, time in years. So kung dili siya years ang gihatag, kung months siya, dapat i-convert to ni mo siya into decimal para mahimo siya ang part of the year. Okay? Dapat in years man ang time. On the other hand, naapot tayo ginasigutan ng F. What is F? Maturity value. So say for example, nangutang ka og 10,000 pesos sa imong amigo. For one year ni mo siya utangon, tapos naghatag siya og interest. Kailangan mo tubo ni siya kay para maka ginansya po daw siya. At the end of one year, 10,000 lang ba ang imong iuli sa iya, ha? Hello? Dili, sir. Dili, sir. Dili, sir. Dili, di ba? Pila may imong iuli sa iya, ha? Aside sa 10,000, di ba naman kay interest, naman ito gitubo. So the sum of the principal imong gihiram, o ang interest, is known as the maturity value, and that is letter F. So that is why we have another formula. Please take note of this. Maturity value F is equal to the principal, the amount borrowed, plus the I, the amount of interest. That is the value of F. That is the future value, the final value, or the maturity value. Now, if we are going to substitute our I, since na may I sa formula, and the first formula given is I is equal to PRT. So kung i-substitute na to ang I sa PRT, then we can also have another formula. Pwede po din siya gamito ninyo para pas-pas na. Diretso na ka mag-substitute sa mga R, mga T. F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus RT. So pasabot ani ang product sa rate o sa time, adan o 1, then it will be multiplied by the principal. That will be the future value. So either of the two, kaning duha ka formula sa F, you can use, you will get the correct answer. 
So again, katong mga nag-chat, kahina ang mga signal and so on. As usual, pwede nyo i-review ang ato ang session because this is recorded. So you have to be relaxed lang. Ayaw lang magpanik. Are you now ready to solve using the formulas given? We will have applied. We will apply the same rule, ha. Open ang ato ang chat box. The first student to give the correct answer will earn additional points. Dapat mo ni ang time ninyo nga mag maningkamot na kay hapit na mahuman atong klase. Next week mahuman ato ang klase. So wala na mo chance kamo increase inyo ang scores. So recitation do that today. Sige sir. So let's start with the first problem. Please read the problem. Handumon. Wala si Handumon. Sir. Okay. Okay. sir. Go ahead, Mr. Handumon. I'm also checking the attendance. Yes, sir. Number one. Marco wanted to invest an amount of 50,000 for two years at a financial institution that gives a simple interest of 3% per year. How much will be Marcos earning on his investment after the two-year period? Thank you so much, Mr. Handumon. So since we are solving word problem, we can use our knowledge, katong previous knowledge ato sa problem solving a topic na to, the steps on how to solve the problems by Polya. We will follow that. First is, understand the problem. Nasabtan ba ninyo ang problem? Yes, sir. You, do you need to read it again or to translate it in Visaya? Dapat nasabtan ninyo. So that you can proceed to number two, you can make use of the different formulas ganina nagihatag. Aha dito nyo gamiton and then isolve ninyo. Number three, you can carry out the plan and have your answer. Number four, i-check na yun yung answer kung tama ba siya. So I'm waiting for your answer before I reveal the correct answer. Sa chat box lang ihatag inyong answers. The Sir, first answer is given by Guabo. 3,000. I will give you the explanation later. So as of now, kamo lang sa mismo ang mag-solve. I will give you time to explore on your own. Makita na ito kung nakuha ba yun ninyo or wala. Ngayon mga utana, kung saan yung kuan, 50,000. Kung saan yung 2 years, kung saan yung 3%. Principal ba ni, time ba ni, rate ba ni, amount of interest ba ni. So this time, kamu, kamu sa ang mag-settle uh, ato. I will give you time. Duha pa lang ang naghatang answer. Kung nag-answer og percent, 3,000 percent. Again, you understand the problem. Kaya ba sila hindi mong mahatag ang answer? Kaya ang question mang good is how much? Dili kay how many percent or what is the rate? So, dili yung percent ang answer. Ani, kaya how much man? Kwarta ang ipangayaw. How much will be Marcos earning? So, kung sila itong earning, ang imuhang, kung ikaw nagpahira, mo auto ang ning tubo, di ba? Mo auto imuhang madawat. Apart from the money nga imuhang ipahiram. So, nana tayo clue, di ba? On saan ato ang gipangayo diri. So, wala na ko yung mahulat nga answer. Maura dyan ni, 3,000. Wait lang, sir. Sige. I will wait until 5.47. Pag human sa 5.47, pag 5.48 na cut off na. So, nagbalik-balik ang 3,000 diri. I don't know kung kamaba niya ang tamang answer. Na ay nag-2,000, na ay nag-3,000, pero gibutan ka percent. 2, 5, 6, 1, 6, 3, 5, 12, 1,500. Oops, it's already 548. So katulad nag-abot ng 547 ang i-accept ni answers. Let's discuss now the first problem. We have a lot of problems this evening, so don't worry katong mga dili kakuha sa answer karon. So first problem, si Marco daw is gusto niya mag-invest. So naa siya 50,000 pesos. So sayang po ang 50,000 pesos kung iya lang i-keep sa iyahang wallet or iyahang iyaha sigurong cabinet sa balay kung diri siya mag-grow. 
So na ay financial institution, it can be a bank or cooperative nga maghatag og interest rate of 3% and that will be good for 2 years. So nasabta na ang problem no na ay 50,000 pesos, 2 years ang iyahang i-google i para maabot siya og a certain amount that will be the earning of Marco and the rate is 3%. So the question is pila to ang ma-earn niya? Pila ang tubo sa kwarta? So kung pila ang tubo sa kwarta ang gipangayo, the unknown therefore is I. So you have to use the formula, I is equal to PRT. So you have to get the correct interpretation sa problem. Kaning 50,000 should be your principal. Mamani siya ang mugro ng kwarta. Two years is the time and 3% is the rate. Kaning 3% kailangan i-convert into decimal kay ato ang i-input sa calculator. So kung mag-convert ka again, og percent padulong sa decimal unsa himuon. Percent means per 100. So kung i-divide nimo og 100 ang katong 3, so pasabot ana is duha ka 0. So duha ka places to the left imong i-move. So ang 3% mahimo sa og 0.03. So that is constant, okay? per 100 man ang percent. So two places to the left in converting percent into decimal. So you have to input right now 50,000 pesos for your P, 0 0.03 for your R, and 2 for your T. Then multiply all these numbers. The correct answer is 3,000 pesos. The first one nga naghatag ato very much early is Mr. Kuabo. I would like to check. If Mr. Quabo is really here. Yes, sir. How did you get the answer, Mr. Quabo? Kay, um, para sa kuha, sir, kay, inig sa, ibutan na to, 100,000 sa, sir, kay 3% man. So, kung ibutan na to, 100,000 sa per year, na ay 3,000. So, gikwala na ko siya, up, sir, kay 50 raman siya, so 1,500. Yeah, two years man siya, sir, 3,000, sir. Very good. So, that is a very good Analogy from Mr. Kuapo. Congratulations, you got the correct answer. And you have the correct uh, understanding of the problem. Even though lahi ang solution ha, take note, dili inanin yun exactly ang iyahang process. Pero since nakuha niya ang problem correctly, then his process is still considered correct. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Do you have any questions before we proceed? Katong mga nag-answer og other than 3,000, what was your confusion? Ahamon mo na libog ato. Kuha naman siguro niyo ang tamang answer no, na pakita na ang solution. So I hope na clear na ang inyong mga minds about that problem. Since wala na grace og hand, so let's proceed to the second problem. Please prepare because we need to give two answers for this. So please label your answer. A for the first answer, B for the second answer. I will read the problem kay para kamong tanan mag-start na answer. Find the interest on a loan of 1,000 pesos if the rate is 12% for one year. So that's the first one. What is the interest for one year? Second one, what is the interest for two years and three months? I will give the explanation later. Pwede mo magsugod ang answer sa letter A sa. Find the interest of 1,000 pesos loan if the rate is 12% for one year. And then you can start answering letter B. After that, the same amount of interest, the, the same amount of loan rather, 1,000 pesos. And then the rate is 12%. This time for two years and three months. So naasya butal. Kaya wala siya na kompleto. Naa siya 3 months nga. Bungkig. Apil. 2 years plus 3 months. So again, ang tini mo dapat i-convert to siya into years kaya para dili ka mamali.
Dili ni siya multiple choice ha nga ang answer is A or B. Ang pasabot ani is na ay problem for letter A. Na apoy problem letter B. So duha ang answer ani. This is not a multiple choice question. Kailangan na dyan mo ka ng tama nga solution ha. Kahit kung kamo na kakuhag tama nga answer para mahatag sa inyo ang point, kailangan ma-explain ninyo ang tarong. Just like what Mr. Quabo did a while ago. Na-explain niya ang tarong, na-convince ko nga tama ay ang answer to get award na ko ang point sa iya ha. So I will have the cut off at 5.54. So kung mag-abot ng 5.55, pag sulot ninyo sa inyong answer, that will not be counted. So you still have the time, okay? It's still 5.54. Okay, it's already 5.55. I will explain the problem para masabtan, ha? Interest ang gipangayo dere. So do you have to use the formula I is equal to PRT? Pero you have to use the correct values for P, R, and T. The amount of uh, loan is 1,000 pesos. So that will be our P. The rate is 12%. So that is 0.12. That is our R. For letter A, the value of T is 1. So sayo na kayo ang letter A. Okay, P is 1,000. Rate is 12%. That is equal to 0.12. Kung imuang i-transform into decimal, and i multiply la ni mo 1 kay t is equal to 1 so prt we have 1000 times 0 0.12 times 1 is 120 pesos so ang interest for one year is 120 pesos only and the first student to give the correct answer if you will go back sa to ang chat is mr kawaling mr kawaling please Sir, tell me how did you get 120 so, kwan sir, kaning nagbase rin po ko sa formula, sir. Kaya ang, bali ang kwan, sir, ang principal, sir, kay kanang 1,000, sir. Tapos ang, ang gi-multiply na ko siya sa kwan, sir. Ay, katong sa formula, kani, sir. Kani, bali ang, o, oh, kana, sir. Ang principal niya, sir, kay ang kung gibutan sa principal, sir, kana 1,000, sir. Tapos okay. ang, Ang sa rate, sir, kaya ka ng percent, kaya ng 12 percent. Yeah, para sa itong game mong gingon, sir, kaya ng himon siya ang point, sir, by kwan sa decimal, point Very 12. Ako. Yeah, ako ang gikuan din sa ang kwan, sir, one year. Very good. So that's 120. Congratulations, Mr. Kawali. You got Thank the you, point sir. for the first one. Thank now, you, sir. Now let's continue. You're welcome. The same gihapon siya. The principal is 1,000. The rate is 12 percent. But this time, the time is two years and three months. Ang problema karon is nga nung naman ni three months, nga labaw. So, murag na asya ay kanang additional. Kaning three months, kaning labaw sa two years, this will be expressed right now as a fraction or as a decimal. Kaya dapat imuhang T, kay i-convert man mo dapat in terms of years man siya, di ba? Katong gitifine na to a while ago. So, since there are 12 months in one year, so kaning three months, i-convert na to into decimal, 3 divided by 12 ka. So, kung i-fraction mo, that is equivalent to 1 fourth. So, ang 2 years and 3 months is just equal to 2 and 1 fourth years. Or, pwede po mo i-convert ang 1 fourth into decimal point twenty five. So, 2 years and 3 months is just equivalent to 2.25 years. Kaya sinabot ba ta? Muna, ang imong dapat gamitin sa T is 2.25. Klaro ba? So, multiply 1,000. Times 0. 0.12 times 2.25. The answer should be 270 pesos. I will look for 270 pesos nga naghatag. Naabay 270 nga naghatag. Sir, sir. Nakapangatana. Nobody got the correct answer for letter. I'm sorry, Mr. Quabo. Oh, your your oh, time... Your time is 5.55. Diba ang cut-off is 5.54? Allah. Uh, sayang. Anyway, 
Better luck next time. Yes, I would like to entertain question right now. Froilan. Sir, in your thing, point twenty-five, sir. Nandra on libog. Kay pagdono sa three months kay two point three. Ah, okay. Let's uh, correct that misconception, Mr. Froilan, ha? Kay ang pasabot sa three months, di rin siya point three. Okay, three months is just part of the year. So, kailangan pa rin mo siya i-convert into decimal bago rin mo siya ibutangan o point. Kaya mali ng two years and three months, simunin mo 2.3. That is a, a wrong ano siya, understanding. So, dapat ang three, i-divide sa limog 12. So, kung naka-calculator ka ron, mas okay. Kaya para ma ma masubay ni mo ako ang instruction, three divided by 12 equals sa calculator. Di ba 0.25 ang mong gawas? I hope you have your calculator. Freilan, na si Freilan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sige na, divide daw Freilan. 3 divided by 12. No, point 12. Point 25. Punto siya ang part sa year. Point 25 to siya. Plus, na na may 2 years na gibutang dito. I-plus mo ang 2. Mo na ang overall year sa 2 years and 3 months is 2.25. So, ang equivalent natin is 2.25. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. Isa pa na ay other questions. So sayang nun na late lang si Mr. Kuwabo sa iyahang answer. But anyway, he got the correct answer. Uh, pasabot ato na sabtan niya. Now it's time for you to ask questions. Kisa pala ay other questions sa side kay Froilan. Before we proceed to the next problem, kay dapat sure taani nga nakasabot ta kay appeal ni sa final examination. And please recall that your final examination is 30% of your grade. Ako kaayo. Okay, since wala ko na dunggan ng mga nagraise og hand, let's proceed to the third question. Please prepare your calculators and your pen and paper. A credit union has issued a three-year loan of fifty thousand pesos at a rate of ten percent. What amount will be repaid at the end of the third year? You start answering now and give your answers. Send your answer to our chat box. The explanation will be given later pa. First answer is one uh, 15,000 from Emery. You can still change your answer anytime ha, as long as open pa ang chat box for giving of answers. You may read again the answer. Kaya sigmali ang inyong pasabot, di ba? A credit union has issued a three-year loan. 50,000 pesos ang amount. The rate is 10%. What amount will be repaid at the end of the third year? What amount will be repaid? Pilay amount nga ibayaran. What amount will be repaid at the end of the year? Or at the end of the third year? So I'm still waiting for the answers of the others. So 602, ang cut-off time na to. So pag maabot na 603, then... It will not be counted anymore. Be sure ha, nga kabalo mo ma-explain sa inyong answer, especially kung kamo ang natawag na tama ang answer, so that the point will be awarded to you. Pwede pa, kaya wapay ng 603. Okay, it's already 6.03, so cut off na for the giving of answers. This is the third problem, and let's see kung naabi nakakuha ang tamang answer. A credit union has issued a three-year loan, so the three years will be your time. So you already have T is equal to 3. Loan of 50,000 pesos, so 50,000 pesos is equal to, kung saan siya? Principal. At a rate of 10%, so R is equal to 10%, or 10% is equal to, kung i-decimal ni mo siya, this is equal to point, 
What is 10% in decimal? Point 0.1 or 0 0.10. 0 0.10, 0 0.1, that's the same. 0 yes. 0.10. Correct. 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. Since the question is what amount will be repaid, so pila ay mong bayaran. So kung ikaw ang credit union, for example, nag utang sa mo 50,000, okay lang sa imuhang ang ibayad, sa imuha is kuan lang interest. Diba it would not be fair? So the problem actually is asking not only for the interest, but for the maturity value. So the correct answer to this, if you are going to use the formula for the maturity value, diba you have the option, you can use F is equal to P plus I, or you can have the better one, F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus RT. So you just input katong 50,000 for P, 10% or 0.10 for R, T is 3, and then plus 1, 65,000 pesos is the correct answer. The one who got the correct answer, the first one, is actually Froilan. Si Froilan. Mr. Pasaol, please open your microphone. Mm. I would like to ask, how did you get the correct answer? Kwan lang, sir. Kaning, di ba, 50,000 man tong gi-borrowed niya. Ay, mong gi-loan niya. Ako siya ang gi-time sa 0 0.10, sir, niya. Katong, katong result ato. Kaya akong gi, ako ba yung siya ang gi-time sa point, sa ay 0 0.3. Kay 3, ay, ay three, zero, 3 years, 3 years man sa sir. Okay, tapos. Uh, sa, sa, ako ang sa 3 niya. Yeah. Kwan. Uman, uman, kay katong result ato ay 15. 15 niya. Okay. Yeah. Ako siyang giplas sa imong gilon, sir. Kata. 50, times 50,000. Yes. Very good. I times 50,000. Plus, plus 50,000. 50, Very good, Froilan. So, the solution of Froilan is actually different. Katong gigamit niya ang formula is F is equal to P plus I. So, ang first na gihimo is gikonvert niya, I mean, gikompute niya ang interest. So, PRT, gimultiply ang given 50,000 times 1 times 0 0.10 times 3, then that interest is added to P, which is 50,000. So 65,000 is the correct answer. So congratulations to those who got 65,000 is the correct answer. Katong nag-answer 15,000, meaning ato is interest na inyong nasol. So again, balik ka sa question. The question is what amount will be repaid? So the overall amount to be, to be paid, to be given. So it's not good nga imong ibayad is interest lang kailangan ang tibuok jud interest plus principal so is number 3 cleared already can we proceed to number 4 tinapay mo na question diha hearing none so let's proceed to number 4 at the end of 2 years 36000 pesos interest was paid on an 18% simple interest loan. The question is, how much was borrowed? Go. How much was borrowed? So what is asked in the problem? I am waiting for your answers. The first answer is from Quabo. It's 648 daw ang gibaro. Let's check later. We have also 48, 960, 34, 200. What's this? 
Sure, mo ang mga yung answer. I'm afraid, but murag wala yung makakuha og score aning number four. Please analyze the problem properly, ha? I will give you a hint. From the problem, gihatag de ring, ha? Two years is the time. The 36,000 pesos interest, gispecify de ring, ha? 36,000 pesos interest. So this is the amount of interest on 36,000 pesos. This is not the principal. This is the I. Interest of 36,000 pesos was paid on 18% simple interest loan. So 18% is the rate. How much was borrowed? This is asking for the principal. So pila yang gihiram ng tubo og 36,000 pesos for two years with the interest rate of 18%. So I think we will have to cut it off. A lot of answers were already given in our chat box. Time is up. Let's check at the solution. So 610 lang taman ang paghatag sa answer ha pag mag 611 na that, that will not be qualified so kato naghatag og answer karon pwede pa so you have to be conscious of time also para dili masayang atong time we still have a lot of problems to solve for tonight sayang pod kung dito mahurot og solve so since klaro na na mention na nako di ba ang pagpangayo diri is principal that is asking the problem, and T is your two. Um, T is equal to two. I is equal to thirty six thousand. R is eighteen percent or point eighteen. So therefore, if you will use I is equal to PRT, pwede gihapon na siya, pero mablangko imuang P. So kung imuang I derive ang formula, so mahimo na siya. Di ba kabalo man tamo derive tanan from our basic algebra? Tama ba? Ang I is equal to PRT, mahimo na siyang P is equal to I over RT. The gets din ninyo, the derivation of formula ni siya ha, ang tawag ani. Ang kaning tapad sa P nga R o T, since wala man siya appeal sa gipangita na to, P man ang gipangita na to, so ato ni siyang ibutang under sa I. Klaro ni siya nga formula? Yes, sir. Hello? Okay, that will be the formula to be used ha, if P is unknown. The correct answer is, so if you will input 36,000 in the numerator, so denominator, you have 0.18 times 2. So, kwa unsa ni mo ang product sa 0.18 times 2? Para kabalo ka kung unsa ang imong i-divide sa 36,000. It's actually 100,000. And nobody got the correct answer. I was waiting for 100,000 to come out in our chat box. Pero nobody got 100,000. It's okay. Kisa anay question sa number four. Pasa all. Gi times pa ng anong sir? 0.18 times 2? Yes. I multiply na ni mong 0.18 times 2. Okay, rate uh -huh. times time. Ako na siya, rate times time. You got it. Then, ang um, so result sa 0.18 times 2. If you have your calculator, no, 0.18 times 2 is equal to 0.36. So, mahimo ni siyang 36,000 divided by 0.36. Sige daw. Para ma-verify na to. 100,000 ba ang ninggawas? You have to compute it by yourself kaya para mo to ojud mo nga 100,000 ang mong gawas. 0 0.36, sir. Ang po, ang koan. 0.18 times 2. Yes, sir. 100,000, sir. Okay. Atong point thirty six imong i divide sa thirty six thousand. Thirty six thousand divided by point thirty six. Divided by point thirty six. Point thirty six manang point eighteen times two. Another way to check ha is one hundred thousand. Bamo na nasa principal. 
IPRT na to, P times R times T. 100,000, i-compute niyo times ang rate nga 0.18 times ang time nga 2 years. So, 100,000 times 0.18 times 2. Dapat ang interest nga mugawas is 36,000. Okay, para ma-prove na ang tama itong answer. I-multiply daw ninyo 100,000 times 0.18 times 2. 36,000, sir. Very good. So, tama itong problem. At the end of two years, 36,000 interest was paid on 18% simple interest loan. So, how much was borrowed? 100,000. Mm, okay, so, sir. Don't forget, okay, anyway, napatay problem number five. I hope di pa tama aptan sa time, no? Okay, I will read the problem. You may start answering now. A 5,000 peso savings account earned 700 pesos interest in two years. What was the rate of interest given? What was the rate of interest given? So, klaro kayo ang ipangayo is rate of interest. So, mag-derivation na punta. Small letter R ang unknown. So, kung saan mapahimuon ni Moani kung small letter R ang pangitaon. Go! So the first answer was given by Valiente. According to him, it's 7% daw. We're not yet sure, so pwede pa mo maghatag og inyong answer. You have to be sure of your answer. Mr. Valiente, do I mong gihatag answer? I will take the first answer. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay. First answer dapat ang inyo hang ano no kay mag usab mong answer so since you are the first one, Mr. Valiente, to give 7% as the answer, can you explain to us why 7%? Uh, 5, Before 000, I read the correct answer. Can you listen, everyone? Go ahead, Mr. Valiente. 5,000. So, ako rin pong gi-quanter nga. Ang 700 man. Interest. Ako rin yung equal nga 7% ang gihatag nga kon. Sorry, sir. Gitagna ra ni mo. Dapat i-solve. Gisolve yun na siya dapat, Valiente. Dapat na kay formula nga gigamit, Ani. How about kani si Mahasol? Yung sa ni Mahasol ang 7%. You are also the second person who gave the answer 7%. Na, sir. Ikaw, sir. Bana, sir. <laughs> How came mo managna na ba kayo? Kuha ninyo ang answer. 7% is the correct answer. Pero I will not take bana-bana. I will not give the correct point. Kung bana-bana lang, dapat na ajay correct explanation. So for the explanation of this, from I is equal to PRT, we can derive the formula again. So take note, when we derive the formula, katong mga katapad niya nga walay labot, imo ang ibutang sa baba. So since small letter R is the unknown, so kaning small letter R magpabilin, tapos sa P ka sa I, di ba na naka-equal sa I, na na siya denominator nga P o T. So the formula for R is equal to Y, I mean I divided by PT. 700 is the interest, the amount of interest. 5,000 is actually the principal. So, i-substitute ni mo ang 5,000 sa P. And two years is your time. So, you have to get the product first of 5,000 and times 2. Para kabalo ka kung sa i-divide mo sa 700. So, that's actually 10,000. So, 700 divided by 10,000 is 0 0.07. 0 0.07 is actually decimal pa. Kailangan pa ni mo i-convert ito percent. So, since nag-move ka to places to the left, I move na pudi mo to the right two places, so that's seven percent. So actually, I was not convinced with the explanation of Valiente and Mahasol. Kaya gitagna ramang good nila. 
the correct answer is actually seven percent. Yun na una na sir kay kato sa kwan magud seven percent magibotan sir nya para to sir kining zero point seven mo rong yun na una sir nga ogi convert na sa dili kita ni decimal point sir. Yes sir kay sa two years nga kwan ug sa fifty thousand sir kay seven hundred man ang gikwan di atag mo to sir ang gik Una una lang sir nga kung dili dili wala na convert sa decimal point 7% sir. Ah so murag na ko lang nimo nga na swertihan nga 700 so na 7%. But well, anyway Pareha please ako, take ako. note of this formula ha kay ani ang pag-solve nimo. Pero wala pa na ko nakuha tong from 700 tapos gihimong 7% ni Mr. Valiente. So maybe in the other time kung pwede ta mag-discuss about this one you can elaborate that more. Thank you so much, Mr. Valiente. Congratulations for getting the correct answer. Let's proceed to the next problem. Kaya para dagan po makakuha ang points, Anino. Let's have number six. Rika needs 20,000 pesos to buy office furniture for her new office. So kailangan niya mangutang sa bangko. But she wants to pay an interest of 1,100 pesos only. So gusto siya mangutang pero dapat ang interest is only 1,100 pesos. If the bank charges 11% interest rate, so how long must Rika pay her obligation? The question is how long? So this is time. Time ang ipangayuan ni. So go. I think this will be the last problem for tonight. I'm waiting for your answers. Wala na yung nag-answer o one year, eight months, two months, one year, one month, two years, six months, ay six years and two months. Take note mo ato mga decimal ha. Kung naamoy na ano nga decimal, dapat kabalo mo mag-convert kung say equivalent ato sa months. Okay, I will now reveal the correct answer since enough naman siguro daghan na naghatag og answer, no? So time ang ipangayo dere, so we need to again derive the formula. So since kabalo naman tamo derive, 
20,000 pesos is actually our principal. 1,100 is our interest. That's letter I. The interest rate is 11% or 0.11. So T is equal to I divided by PR. Kuha ninyo ang formula. Inani ang formula ha. T is equal to I divided by PR. Kung time ang gipangayo. So dapat tanong mo yung listahan sa mga formula. Substituting the values, we have 1,100 for I, 20,000 for P and 11% or 0 0.11 for our R. So kung makita ninyo, isolve sa ninyo sa baba una, 20,000 times 0 0.11. So the result is 20,000 times 0 0.11 is 2,200. So 1,100 divided by 2,200 is 0.5. Di ba 0.5 is time man na siya? Kung 0.5, kung siya pasabot, anong 0.5? 0.5 year. Di ba katunga sa isa ka year? So it means... Six months. So, the student who got the correct answer is Emery. Emery, are you there? Yes, sir. Congratulations, Emery. How did you get your answer? Please tell us. Um, yung formula na ano, sir. Um, yung I equal PRT. PRT. Para para ma ano sir para ma para mag ma iwan yung time mm -hmm. it, yung interest over PR equals PRT over PR so sa kabila time na lang po yun ma okay. matitira so magiging formula niya sir is time is equal to interest over PR very good then you substitute Emery got the correct answer the explanation is very much convincing do you have any questions? Molan to siya, mga students. In ato lang yung dagandagan ng ato ang mga question. P, R, T, and then F. Molan na siya ang mga pangutana sa problems nato. So please don't forget to study your lessons. This will be available sa inyong Quipper by Monday as well as ang video. Do you have any questions? So anyway, kung nalibog mo, you can... Recall again the solution. Pagbasahon ninyo sa Quipper. Kaya available man ang material nato sa Quipper. I-upload na ko Monday. Kaya para makarelax pa mo sa weekend. I do not give uh, exercises mangunog trabaho during weekend. Kaya para matagaan na to ang time at ang mental health para makarelax punta. Okay lang sa inyo. Ano? Monday na punta mag, ano, mag, magpadayon. I will now stop recording. But if you have some...